y'all. Welcome back to the Dan Bar for another Big B beer review. Today, got one that I found at my local store that intrigued me with the can art. Uh, it's called, and the name is kind of interesting, and I tried to do my homework on it. Couldn't come up with anything. Kenny Bell. It's a oat double India Pale Ale, or so it's a double, it's a Oat Double India Pale Ale hopped with Motuika. <clears throat> Give me, you got, stick with me now, okay. Motuika hops, Citra Cryo hops, and Mosaic hops. 8.5% ABV. Hmm. So, and it's brewed by Tripping Animals Brewing Company. That is an interesting name for a brewing company. Tripping Animals Brewing Company in Doral, Florida. The Trip Before Time series. Awesome. So that's pretty neat. I like the can art, which I think y'all get a kick out of it. The Kitty Bell. The Kitty Bell. Yeah, I mean, check out that dinosaur, you know, and the Trip Before Time series. It's pretty cool. They, they put some work into this. So, I don't know how old it is or anything like that. They don't have a website. Like, I didn't find one anyways. I really didn't have too much time to do the research before I would decided to want to drink this sucker. So, like I said, I mean, it, it was unique in its own right for what it is, you know. So... Of course, back in the day, you'd never find anything in a can like this with art like that, unless it was a kid's drink or something. But I appreciate it for what it is, you know. I like it. I mean, times have changed. Those kids have grown up, and they like beer. So I feel like I wish I had gotten two of these, and I could be watching Jurassic Park right after, you know, cracking one open. This one's a bit dirty. Yep. They like to get dirty in the cans here. All right, here we go. I wasn't a big uh, shit look like it should have been. Ooh, musty. Hoppy. That's a unique smell. Smells like very, very hoppy, but uh, like a bready smell there, too. That may not be a good thing. I don't know. There's no date on the can that I saw. All right. Wow. Yeah. No, no, no date. Maybe there's a... I don't know. Maybe there's a... I need to scan that QR code, maybe. <laughs> All right. So definitely pretty hazy, a pretty spongy, spacious looking, semi-wet looking foam for the head there, which really seems to be dissipating pretty fast. Very hazy. Yeah, that's very hazy. Look at that. That is fun. I, I think I might like this one. It kind of looks like the one I got from, uh, the heck was it called? Oh, wait, my bad. So, hmm. Eh, that's pretty light in color. Especially when, yeah, I'm going to say it's about a three or four in the SRM. Okay. Gosh, uh, I think it was called Old Coast Brewing in uh, St. Augustine. And, uh... That was where I really started falling in love with IPAs. And it was a hazy IPA that they had. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And it was really good. And it's still, I think, today my favorite hazy IPA. All right. I'm going to get nip this head before it's gone. Or what much did they get? But it wasn't very, very bitter. And bready. It's got a breadiness to it there. Okay. 
It's a little less fragrant. It's hoppy. Yeasty, I guess, is the word. So let me dive in. Salut. Okay, full body, has full body. It's on the brink of being so bitter to me that it's so people. This has actually got a really rich beer flavor. It's gotta be from the oats or something. It's like, it's like take uh, your average, you know, your course, take your course banquet and make it like double it up you know in a sense and add extra hops mm. that is rather unique as a matter of fact i wish i could tell how old it is but you know and then i have to search into that qr code now that i saw it on there i can't believe i missed went right over that yeah definitely full body uh it's not it, it is boozy it's got a booziness to it you know in the finish you can tell it's eight percent but it's not like to me it's not overpowering this would be really good what would this be good that one i think would be great with lasagna or like Italian or pizza, anything with a red sauce for some reason. You know, ZD, uh, ravioli, lasagna, pizza would be a great pairing for some reason. I'm craving anything like with a red sauce, even a can of Chef Bar already for crying out loud. Yeah, I don't know why. That's just what I'm getting out of that, anyways. Also, I'm sure it'd be great with any kind of cheeses and shit, beer goes with everything. All right, so online, it's not even on Beer Advocate. It's, it, well, it is, but there's only three reviews, and they don't, so they got a 3.71 average. On Untapped, with 628 views or reviews, it has a 4.06. Get out of there, you little fucker. Little fruit flies. So, for me, would I buy this one again? Uh, it was like six or eight bucks for that can, if I remember correctly. So, because I got lucky when I went and got a bunch of them. That one, they didn't actually ring up. But I do re faintly remember it being on the shelf. And it was, that's why I'm lucky they didn't ring it up. But, uh, man, it's kind of steep. If it's a, if a four pack's over 20 bucks for these... I really don't think I, I want to, you know, get it again for that price. But this is actually good. And the, the aftertaste is making me actually crave drinking more. Oh, man, that's like a meal in, in a glass there. It's nice. So I would definitely drink this again. It's definitely a delicious brew. It's just a little pricey. I mean, I can only imagine how great this would be fresh. And, I mean, especially from a brewery with such an odd name, Tripping Animals. So, I like this one. I do, I do have to say I like this one a lot. Um, Big Deep Beer would be great. I'm going to give it a solid A. I was actually surprised. I didn't know how I was going to be with this one, if it's going to be good or not. So, if you all have tried it, if you've seen it, let me know. I mean, I'd like to see or anything from Tripping Animals. I'm going to try to get out there and find some more. Obviously, because it's not too far from me. Doro, Florida is a, isn't too, too far from me. So, I don't know exactly where it's at. But, I'm in Florida and it's in Florida. So, it can't be that bad. <laughs> but, I might be able to find some more of their brews at, like, my local liquor store or something. Hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. Please. And, uh, make sure you check out my group, Beer Reviewers United, on Facebook. Bunch of awesome reviewers leaving their reviews for you to enjoy. And, stay tuned because I got a bunch more coming up. Hope to see you here at the damn bar. Till next time, salute.